In today's video, we are talking about the Flash plot leaks and we're going to be talking about the Snyderverse. Now, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content we do on the daily. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, share, comment, that'd be much appreciated. And if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice, just check us out on Instagram at Warstew. And I've got like 40 followers on Twitter, so if you follow me on Twitter sphere, that will be cool. Sadly, the plot leaks posted to Reddit don't actually line up with what I was sent last week, but we're still going to go over it. Part of the beauty about covering plot leaks is you never know what is true and what isn't true. So let's break it down. And it's also interesting and very cute that a lot of these Twitter scoopers are debunking stuff from a screener they weren't even at. This is why I find it ridiculous. You're debunking things in a plot leak that's on Reddit. You've not even seen it with your own eyes. So you should take everything on Reddit and on Twitter, even if it's coming from these scoopers with a pinch of salt, because it's all right, your little friend Jimmy telling you, but did you see it with your own eyes? No. How many plot leaks over the years I've been doing this were debunked? And then you get to the actual movie, it's like, oh my God, that was literally the plot leak I went over. It reminds me of the Batman over a year ago when I said there was a Joker teaser right at the end of the movie. A lot of people came up me saying, bro, you're lying. And then we go watch the Batman and there was a Joker scene in it. So I really have no opinion when other people debunk stuff because at the end of the day, if they didn't see it with their own eyes, it doesn't really matter if they try and debunk stuff because getting second source information is not the same as physically seeing it with your own eyes. So let's break it down. There is 100% a tease for Reverse Flash when Barry's mum is killed. A yellow figure smiles at Barry and lunges at him. Barry escapes before the yellow figure can get to him. No actor or voice. It's pretty hard to make the figure out because he's just standing in the dark room and you can only see his yellow arm and his red eyes. Realistically, 99% of the people watching this Flash movie won't actually be a Flash fan. Realistically, Barry's mum has to die in this movie. We've literally seen this scene in the trailer, but you obviously can't see Reverse Flash in the trailer. The emotional parts are good. Ezra has chemistry with the woman who plays Barry's mum. And I heard people started crying when Barry realised he couldn't save her. It's 100% better than the CW one. Really? I really find that hard to believe, guys, because Grant Gustin is a great Flash. He's a great Barry Allen. I really find that hard to believe. Believe. And obviously, with the news that's come out about Ezra Miller in personal life, what crazy stuff he's doing, it could be getting recasted anyway. Black Flash is not really the villain. Well, duh, because Black Flash isn't a villain. He's a Grim Reaper trying to protect the Speed Force. It is the future Flash wearing the Black Flash suit. There isn't a Black Flash suit. Black Flash is the Grim Reaper. It's not actually a suit. There's no one underneath it. So clearly, whoever wrote this doesn't actually know anything about the Flash. They kind of merge the two characters. Essentially, the future Flash just wearing the Black Flash suit. There are three Barrys in the film. Barry we see in the trailer's long hair gets brutally killed by evil Barry, future Flash, who is also him from the future. The film, future Flash, is an anagram of the comics version of Future Flash and Black Flash. Seems to me like they're literally copying the Flash TV show and putting it into the movie. Is there any creativity here so far? This reminds me of the Savitar storyline from the CW show. The Future Flash is actually just the second Barry, long hair, but from the future. His motivation is that when the DCEU Barry came to the universe, he ruined and destroyed everything in his world. He has gotten obsessed into saving his world and keeping keeps trying to reverse time from getting destroyed, but keeps failing. So he decides to go after the person who caused it. So it's Barry. So Barry's going to be going after Barry after Barry. This literally reminds me of the Savitar storyline with the CW. Future Flash spent 10 years trying to reverse time, trying to figure out a safe way to stop Zod from destroying his world. Barry was about to go back in time, but somehow future Barry tried to kill him, accidentally knocked him out of the Speed Force into an alternate universe where Michael Keaton is resident. Sasha Kali. Supergirl is one of the best parts of the movie, with some calling her the best performance in the movie. Barry 1, our Barry, gets stuck in Michael Keaton's universe and finds Barry 2, who also has flash powers. They both get Michael Keaton and Supergirl to fight the threat, which is Zod. They lose, and Barry 1 and Barry 2 try to reverse time to save the universe, but it fails. Barry 1 gives up, but Barry 2 doesn't. That's when future Flash, future Barry 2, appears, revealing he tries repeatedly times but failed so instead of repeating time to stop the accident he entered the speed force to try and kill the person who caused it in the first place aka the barry from our universe the original barry 
Sounds sounds pretty basic to me. Sounds like they're basically just running with plot points from the CW and slightly changing it. The way Ezra's Ballery is portrayed in the film has him act more like Wally West and Bart Allen hybrid than he does Barry in some scenes. Apart from some scenes, Ezra acts a bit like comic book Barry. He gets his heart and essence of the character right and only gets like Wally stroke Bart hybrid in some scenes, mostly humor, like freaking out like a fangirl when he sees the Batman Trust me when I say this, you're gonna love Ezra as Bally more than you will in both Justice League movies. That is a very strong point, but realistically, I don't really like this version of The Flash. If I'm being fully transparent with you, Zod successfully kills Keaton's Batman, Supergirl. Supergirl gets her neck snapped. It's actually pretty brutal. Worse than when Superman snaps Zod's neck. Whoever wrote this is really trying to hype this up. Worse than when our Henry Cavill Superman destroys Zod? I don't think it is. Zod kills Cavill as a baby. Killing Super Baby. Leak is 100% true. Michael Shannon reprises his role as General Zod. Okay, we already knew that because he was seen on set. Cage is also not Superman in Keaton's world. It's Cavill, you know, before he gets killed as a baby by Zod. So what you're saying is Henry Cavill Superman's got to be in this movie in some capacity in order for whoever wrote this to know this. Future Flash and Flash have a massive race because Future Flash wants to kill him. Barry doesn't want to die, obviously. When they do that, they travel into the multiverse. We see a shitload of different universes. Pattinson, Linda Carr, Wonder Woman, Adam West, War Stew, Batman, Grant Gustin, Flash, etc. I don't know if I believe that because obviously the Batverse, Robin Pattinson's universe, is a standalone universe, but would they show it? I don't know. Superman existence is left somewhat ambiguous. Zod and Fiora are alive in the new timeline since Superman never killed him. I mean, that makes sense. Any film and TV show including Peacemaker, released between Man of Steel and Shazam 2, is set in the old timeline. Shazam 2 is set in the old timeline. Everything after The Flash is the new timeline. Green Lantern, Batgirl. There is no Green Lantern movie, so that's ridiculous. Iris is only in the movie as a cameo. She only happens to appear at the end of the movie when Barry's father gets out of prison. We've seen her visually filming in London. Warner Bros. plan is to use Keaton as a temporary replacement for DCEU Batman. I don't really believe that. Updated. They now say that they want... Pattinson involved with Crisis. Nothing of whether he'd join the DCU full-time afterwards. Person said the blonde girl who got cast in The Flash could be playing a gender bender, Mirror Master, or Killer Frost yet again, pulling from the CW, but that's them just guessing. Don't expect any wild cameos. I feel like the overall film will not only be loved by general audience, but by hardcore Flash fans. Interesting. The Flash feels more like a classic fiction adventure in the vein of the stories like Alice in the Wonderland and Wizards of the Oz type of movie. Batman Fleck doesn't die, but he isn't part of the universe. We know that. No reference to Wally whatsoever. Pretty brief reverse flash cameo. Only hardcore DC fans will see this. The mainstream audience will be confused as I don't think they will. This is where it gets interesting. mid credit scene, Flash will tell Aquaman that he wonders if a Superman exists here too. Aquaman looks at him confused. It then proceeds to show Supergirl smiling at Barry. He smiles back and it shows him looking over what's next to her. His face is full of shock and the movie ends. Maybe a nod towards Henry Cavill Superman, but Henry Cavill Superman dies. I mean, yeah, I know the Henry Cavill Cavill Superman, baby Superman scene dying is real. I've spoke to multiple people who have said the same thing. But as I keep saying, Discovery can come in and change whatever they want. post credit scene, Batfleck, Crisis, Tease, come find us, Barry. We know that's true. So if the Flash recast were to happen, Sam Cloughlin is someone you can expect to see as the new Barry Allen Flash. Although I'm here and Grant Gustin's going to do that for sure. So that's the general plot leak that was on Reddit. This is not the plot leak that I've been sent from someone that watched the movie. It's somewhat similar, but there's a lot of different trans transparency so hopefully a plot leak comes out that matches the one that i've been sent so we can go over it i'm not a leaker i'm not gonna leak this one because i believe the one i was sent is more realistic than this although there are a decent amount of parts to pop up so what i find interesting is the twitter scoopers have come out and said stuff like this because lots of people have asked the flash leak i've seen on dc ua reddit and dc spoilers is not accurate it gets a couple of things right but also none of the details so i think they just lucked out guessing at stuff because of other scoopers info uh realistically like 
like I said, guys, unless they've seen it with their own eyes, it's absolutely meaningless for Scoopers to come out debunking stuff because they've not watched the movie at all. So unless you've watched the movie, you might as well not have an opinion on it. So are you happy with this plot? Do you think the spoiler, do you think the tease at the end that Barry Allen gets excited is actually Superman Henry Cavill more real that Superman Henry Cavill never actually was killed? I don't know, but either way, the whole baby Superman dying part is true and it sounds freaking insane and freaking nuts and no one's got any idea what Warner Brothers is doing, but I like to go over plot leaks. We don't know if it's real, we don't know if it's not real, but Scoop is coming out trying to debunk a plot leak. Really? Unless you've watched it with your own eyes, there is no point doing that at all. It is cool that the screener does reaffirm that Affleck doesn't die and it sets up crisis and this Supergirl smiling at Barry and he smiles back and shows him looking over at what's next to her. His face full of shockness. Maybe a nod towards Henry Cavill. There is definitely a Superman alive. Definitely. Even if they've pulled another Superman from another universe, this movie will leave a Superman alive. Not only that, you really think David Zasloff is going to let them kill off a DCEU cinematic Superman because the JJJJ Superman movie has been in the works for, I don't know, like five years. So long, they're not going to kill Superman off. There will be some variant of a Superman in this movie and I still believe the information I was told about Superman being in this movie, even more based on this plot leak, is real. Also, it's publicly widely known because if this is actually true, and they are taking Henry Cavill Superman out, it means that Supergirl will have to fight General Zod and Viara herself. But there is some information that was on Twitter, but it's been deleted now, that said that Michael Keaton and Supergirl are going up against the Man of Steel villains themselves, as General Zod would tr be trying to take over Earth with Viara anyway. So that would be pretty badass to see. But Michael Keaton going up against General Zod, he would freaking kill Keaton. So it is interesting. So it does seem that the rumor that they are traveling through a lunch of different universes, timelines throughout the Snyderverse. It is interesting. We're just going to have to see how this plays out. But one thing's for sure is we know that Michael Shannon is definitely going to be in this movie. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarStew. Check us out on Twitter, WarStewG. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.